for the biochemists and some of you out there may really appreciate this. This is a picture of the mTOR pathway you kind of see in the middle. And PA, right in the middle there, you see mTOR, and, and actually PA can directly enter the muscle cell and bind to mTOR to activate the mTOR gene and, and the signaling pathway. Or indirectly, uh, phosphatidic acid can be converted to what's called lyso-PA that can activate the muscle cell membrane and then increase intercellular PA and activate mTOR. So phosphatidic acid, as we're learning more and more about the mechanisms, it truly binds and activates this gene, just so you can kind of see in a very cell biological representation of the mTOR pathway and increasing cell growth. And the other 1,800 milligrams are combined or split up between a leucine, which is another powerful, but this product is unique because it's driven by mediator PA, but it also is uh, strengthened by L-leucine. And many of you know that L-leucine is an activator of mTOR and also HMB, which is another activator of mTOR. And very interesting, vitamin D. We've talked about vitamin D uh, in the past. Vitamin D is so interesting as a fat-soluble vitamin but vitamin D has also been shown to benefit mTOR. I added into the formula. One of the things to emphasize, just as you've been saying, mTOR does seem to be the master regulator of protein synthesis. The number one mechanism to increase protein synthesis definitely seems to be this phosphatidic acid mechanism. With some of the work also I know that Scott has done with uh, Troy Hornberger, it's important to know that this particular form of PA that's being used is the ideal form, you know, and, and it seems to be the, the main phospholipid to trigger protein synthesis. So there are other versions, like, for example, um, egg PA. It's not as ideal as this mediator PA as far as pr simulating protein synthesis. So we did the first clinical trial to look directly at skeletal muscle hypertrophy using cross-sectional area of the quadriceps. And one of the things that I want to point out is that we had really well-trained individuals, and we used a training program that by itself increases muscle mass. And one of the things is, you know, you want to know is, if you're able to increase muscle mass with training, can a supplement enhance it above that? We gave the 750 milligrams of PA an hour before they worked out, and it basically doubled their gains on muscle mass. So they had something like 200% increases in lean mass. So we don't see this. You know, most of the time we don't see anything. Um, you don't see this in a lot of studies. But what really was to us unique is they also lost body fat. So if you look at sport in general, or you look at bodybuilding, sport, athletes are always trying to have the, the leanest phenotype possible. So if you can sort of target both of those areas, that's absolutely ideal. Of course, along with the increase in muscle mass, we saw increases in and upper body, as well as increases in lower body strength, overall lean mass, and cross-sectional area. The product works. This commenting overall on this product, one of the unique aspects I'm go I am going to point out is, you know, as many of you know, if I, um, I've studied phosphatic acid. A light, the other ingredient in there is HMD. Phosphatic acid increases mTOR more powerfully than anything. HMB does as well, but HMB also lowers protein breakdown. So if you look at what's muscle growth, it's protein synthesis minus protein breakdown. So the combination of these two, you're optimizing protein synthesis and you're lowering breakdown, and you're going to have even more growth, even better results. So now I'm going to turn it over to Scott Hagerman to talk a little bit about Mediator PA. Scott is the president and CEO of Chemi Nutra. Chemi Nutra is a unique company. It's one of the industry's most innovative materials manufacturing supplier of novel ingredients. They do have a select and a very interesting group of compounds and mediator is their, their most recent one. So, Scott, thanks again for being on the call. Scott's been in the industry for many decades, very well known. Scott, if you want to maybe tell us just a little bit about your company and also a mediator PA. All of this development was possible because we are part of a very large enterprise. We're a wholly owned business unit of Chemi Spa, which is owned by Etel Pharmaco, a mid-sized pharmaceutical company that sells uh, finished product OTCs and pharmaceuticals around the world. So we are engaged in the discovery 
and commercial development of novel proprietary health benefiting nutritional compounds. Our businesses came into being uh, when I incorporated them on behalf of Chemi about 14 years ago. And we're very unique that we are able to be involved from the very start along the way, develop process developments for the manufacture of these specialty compounds. We are, in fact, specialists in phospholipid chemistry. And knowing what the various phospholipid fractions do, we began a process about three or four years ago looking at phosphatidic acid, and it caught our interest. We have since filed a number of patents. We have two PCT patents. Those are international patents, uh, patent cooperation treaty uh, that abide by international patent law. So two of those were filed in Italy. One of those PCT was, was filed in the U.S. and three additional U.S. patents. So we're pretty excited about this. Along the way then, as I mentioned, we had to develop a specialty manufacturing process. It's this compound is manufactured in our FDA inspected plant. We also began in earnest to look at the safety considerations and have conducted quite a few of those safety and toxicity studies. And we will probably file a GRAS notification as we prepare a dossier later this year. Based on safety and, and future use, we think, in, in conventional foods and medical foods and things like that. We have then conducted quite a number of research studies in both animal and human models, and Dr. Wilson will elaborate on his activities, the, one of the landmark studies relating to phosphatidic acid and muscle mass, strength gain, fat loss mass, and so on. We continue to invest in research studies, and uh, we have a couple of more of those slated in both animal and human models the rest of this year. And then we will continue down the line to look at uh, work in aging populations, specifically sarcopenia and muscle wasting diseases and age-related muscle loss situations. So we're, we're continuing to invest in our in our research along these lines, as as we do believe, as Dr. Harvey said, that this mTOR, this master switch for muscle protein synthesis, is key. is just absolutely vital to uh, what we call here human performance. And to that end, then, we continue to look at this and invest substantially, and we're very excited that, that Max Muscle has brought this on. They're uh, one of just right now less than a handful of partners of ours in this marketing activity, and we're, we're really excited to, to move ahead and see how this thing develops.